Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Flyout. Today we're going to be building a blended wing body fighter thing. So uh, a blended wing unlike a lifting body which has no discernible wings and a flying wing that has no discernible fuselage is a plane that has no discernible line between the two. The, the wings and the body just kind of occur at some point and you can't really point out exactly where that is there's definitely wings and there's definitely a fuselage but the line between them is a little bit blurry and that is what we've got today so this is a little bit untraditional in the flying blended wing kind of sense in that it has a traditional tail plane but also untraditional in the typical plane kind of way because it doesn't have an elevator yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a strange design, I must admit, but uh, it, it works kind of just like a Delta Wing aircraft um, in terms of actual functionality, I guess. Um, but I think it's a cool little concept, and so we've got this light fighter idea. Uh, that was, it was inspired by this Reddit post I saw not long ago uh, on the Weird Wing subreddit, which is a good place to go if you want inspiration for weird things to build in flyout. Uh, apologies today if you hear any weird noises, especially while I'm laughing. Um, I have this really weird illness where I'm completely fine most of the time, but for some reason when I start laughing, I, I my throat just rattles. It, 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 I sound like 10,000 skeletons from a distance, um, which is the weirdest analogy for my voice that you probably were expecting today. Uh, but there you go. That's what's just been said. Um, so this, this was very much a, a, what's the phrase, trust the process kind of build today. Um, I didn't like it at all, to be to be frank. It took me about three days to come around to this design. I did eventually like it, but I don't like to finish a plane if I don't like it. So, unlike most of my videos where I just kind of build the plane in one go and it's just one clip that I'm cutting down, this is a lot of different clips that I'm cutting down because I just I was just never satisfied with it. So, we just kept cutting and cutting and cutting down um, and just going back and fixing things and changing things up so quite a lot changes uh, outside of what I show on camera just because I was not content with it and I was just playing around with ideas I finally settled on one I was like oh I should probably record this um yeah I don't know it just wasn't feeling good for a long time. Uh, I did a lot of things. I, I narrowed it down quite a lot. Uh, originally, the intakes were at the very front of the wings. I moved them to the underside of the fuselage, basically, which, uh, I mean, neither of those intake designs have appeared on this thing yet. But um, I think this is just one of those one of those times where you realize that, you know, you get content with a certain start sorry uh, you get content with a certain style of building um and a certain design and you you reach a point where um you've done that so much that you're quite decent at it and then, and then suddenly you step outside your comfort zone and you realize that there's still a lot to improve at um and clearly uh blended wing aircraft is something that i had a lot of improvement to uh to go in um because yeah this was not this was not a particularly smooth process this one <laughs> Uh, so here goes the old tailplane on this thing, and uh, you can see we've got this cool little uh, exhaust nozzle thing, which I've not really done before. I think that really adds quite a lot to this, because if it just cut off at the back, I think it would look rather strange. But um, having that like transition between the fuselage and the exhaust is it, it, it's a nice it's a nice little part to have on there. But yeah, um, apologies that it has been a little while since I uploaded. Uh, just, just really not been, um, not been coming up with ideas, you know. <laughs> it's, it, it's just kind of been failing to uh, come up with any concepts for anything at all. Uh, but you know what? We're here. We've done it. We're back. Um, so, whoops. There you go. Um, yeah, I've run out of things to say, frankly. Um, and the cat's not here. Normally, I just talk about the cat when I run out of things to say, but she's not even she's not even attacking me right now, which is a rare, rare state of affairs. But uh, there you go. And there's the original intakes. These these intakes were very much um, 
like vampire intakes uh the the british fighter jet from uh very late world war ii uh into the cold war um but uh th they just didn't quite look right um just never got them feeling good uh, i spent also a lot of time trying to actually blend the fuselage in with the wings here uh, i've seen some people just do it out of the fuselage and perhaps that's maybe what i should have done but uh there you go i, I didn't do it so that that's the bed i made and now i have to lie in it um <laughs> so here we have a proper actual blended wing because the the fuselage actually blends with the with the wing uh, you can slightly point out where the uh, fuselage ends and the wings begin but uh, that's because it's very difficult i find in fly out to get two bits of the fuselage to blend together without having this like seam some people pull it off absolutely flawlessly and i have absolutely no idea how they do it so you know if you know do let me know because i literally not a clue <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we, we put on this thing a couple cannons and a couple of air-to-air -air missiles in the end. That ends up being the ordnance of this plane. Um, but I, I don't know how right that feels. What would this kind of an aircraft even be used for in your, like, head cannon? What is, what, what is your law for this kind of a thing? Would it be just like pure air superiority fighter? Would it be reconnaissance? Would it be some kind of missile flinger? Would it be a rocket attack plane? Like, what what kind of what kind of dealio would would this be? Because for me, I feel like the only realistic reason for this thing to exist would be like fighter. That it just doesn't seem like a particularly practical design for much else because you've got a large wing surface, but the curve of the wings makes it kind of difficult to mount a lot, I guess. Um, there's plenty of room for fuel, though, so maybe some kind of loitering escort fighter kind of thing could maybe be a use for it rather than a true air superiority fighter. I don't know. Maybe I've hit the nail on the head. Maybe I haven't. What What? what do you think? Who knows? But, yeah, we're, we're pretty much nearing the uh, end of the design of this thing now, so uh, we will uh, return back to myself in the past, and uh, we will uh, we'll give this thing a little test flight. And uh, I've got to say, flight performance of this thing was uh, a, pleasantly su a pleasant surprise. I was not expecting this to, uh, to fly particularly well, but um, it, it doesn't go too badly. And here is the finished product here. So I'm I'm mostly happy with it. it. It's come a long way from where it was before. And these stars on the wings are a little bit squished because I've actually shrunk it a little bit from where I <laughs> finished building. So I'll just repaint those before we actually take it out to fly. But uh, as you can see, we don't have a huge amount of armament on this thing because it is quite small and it doesn't have a huge amount of great hard points uh so we've only got two sidewinders and two 23 millimeter guns here but hopefully that's enough to do a little bit of damage to some target drones um and we don't have any ground ordnance today so we probably won't be going for any tanks or anything like that but uh yeah let's let's give it a fly see how well it does because it is a bit of an incon inconvenient no uh unconventional divide because it is a bit of an unconventional design there we go there's my words okay so the stars on the wings have been unstretched and we are about ready to give this thing a shot here now uh, i have set the idle throttle a little too low so the engine has stalled out but uh if we give her some beans it might come back to life <laughs> maybe or not maybe not <laughs> oh man okay right gotta bring that back to life okay there we go idle throttle has been improved and now if we throttle up there we go we're actually moving <laughs> it's always it's always handy to move uh when you turn your engine on i i tend to find uh we are a little bit rocky on the runway here but that's okay there we go up into the air and it looks like we're gonna need some quite aggressive trim levels here to fly level but uh, there we go that's all good and uh, so far the agility <laughs> just from taking off 
feels pretty impressive. Uh, that's not bad at all. I can't lie. Uh, I'm I'm a fan of that. And we've got these two relatively slow firing 23 millimeters. Now I'm hoping. Even with my missiles here, we can break the sound barrier at sea level because that's kind of that's kind of my goal with this thing. It's fairly aerodynamic. It's it it's an interesting looking thing, but uh, I think it should be able to do that. Um, so let's let's just see. Okay, here we are, and we are very much at sea level here, and you can see. Uh, we're not quite capable of breaking the sound barrier. We hug just on the boundary of it, but I imagine if we climbed even, like, up to two kilometers here, I reckon even at two kilometers we'd have enough beans to go past the sound barrier. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that we're not quite over the sound barrier, but as you can see, our fuel efficiency isn't too awful, because on full afterburner, uh, we do get about... 20 minutes of fuel from takeoff, which isn't too shabby, I can't lie. Um, and hopefully here, uh, maybe not, maybe, maybe, maybe this is just our top speed. <laughs> That's fast enough. Right, we'll, we'll spawn in a target drone and we'll, uh, we'll fire at that. Why not? Okay, he's heading the complete other direction, but let's just pull, uh, about 20 Gs <laughs> just casually. <laughs> And lock onto the tail of this guy. Man, that's a... That's... Yeah, it's, it's quite maneuverable. I have also just noticed that trying to fly up to this thing, my rudder is inverted. So that's... That's impressive that I've managed to pull that one off. Oh, well. <laughs> Who needs the rudder going around the right way anyway? Okay, once we break about 1.5, I think I'm going to launch this missile. And hopefully, we can get him in the first attack there we go that's that's nice nice and easy we didn't even have to uh struggle once with the uh, missiles we'll go for another missile kill just to loose the other one uh, maybe we'll try a little bit further out this time and uh then i think we'll try for a gun kill but um i i don't know how well that's gonna go because these guns uh, they can be tricky to aim when they've got slower gun velocities and these definitely have quite slow gun velocities Okay, this time we're going to fire from two kilometers out, and hopefully that still finds its target. It looks good. And there you go. Nice. Uh, gun time, I guess. Uh, I've accidentally spawned a SAM, but uh, it, it just fired a missile into the mountain, so I don't think that's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> yeah, no, mate. you got to be a little bit more careful. Okay, normally we just hug behind these guys. And just get a good shot. This time we're going to go for a proper gun run on this guy. No slowing down. Just nearly supersonic speeds. And here we go. We're going to try... Uh, no. No luck. No luck. And uh, we don't have enough rudder authority as we do have this uh, kind of weedy rudder that's inverted. Uh, to actually control it too well when we're going in for a strike. Uh, there... <laughs> The maneuverability is uh, dangerous sometimes. <laughs> oh, we are bouncing all over the place here. Uh... <laughs> uh, that's not quite what I meant to do. Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever rammed a target drone in this game, though. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Right, let, let's spawn another one in. Take it off, and, the, and then we'll bring this thing in for a landing. Um, I, I think that's quite enough. Quite enough target drone shooting down for one day. <laughs> okay, we are leading for landing here. We're going to drop our flaps down. Uh, and these do actually give us a little bit of trouble in terms of pitching up. But uh, that's okay. We should get enough lift from them that it's uh, worth our while here. And we just have to be a little careful that we don't go in too hot here. It is... We are quite quick, but um, I think that should be okay. We, we're quite a heavy plane, actually, for our size, um, because there is quite a fair whack of fuel in this thing. So we drain off this speed quite a lot when we start flaring, especially with the, uh, the wing loading on this bad boy, which is a lot, as it is mostly wing. Uh, here we go, and that was not 
a smooth landing, but it, it was a landing nonetheless. And uh, the brakes, uh, they're all right. They leave something to be desired, I can't lie, but uh, they'll do the job before the end of the runway, preferably. And uh, indeed, it seems that is the case. But uh, yeah, there we go. There's our little uh, blended wing flying body, lifting body jet, su nearly supersonic missile fighter plane. Lovely. <laughs> a very succinct name for a very succinct aircraft. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I do hope you will enjoy, enjoy? I do hope you will join me for more stuff like this in the future. But for now, Farewell! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons Ambrose, Camjam135, Cody N, DG Pete, Skavoon, Gamma 929, Sad Catch, Let's Catch of C611, Lash at 11, Look Under Your Bed Patch Bits, Mark, Marlon Gwecken, Mardly Invested, Nicholas K, Rolls Bokken, The Keynesian Emperor, Worth, Sickle, Zerashime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.